Allahu Akbar. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, we give him praise and we give him thanks for his goodness and mercy to the human family. That whenever we stray from the path of the divine favor of God, before he punishes, he always raises someone to guide, someone to warn, someone to remind the people that they should return to the right path. So we thank Almighty God for Moses in the Torah, what is called the Old Testament. And we thank him for Jesus in the Apostle, who gave us the Gospel, the New Testament. And we thank him for Muhammad in the Holy Quran. Peace be upon these worthy servants of God. I could never ever thank Allah enough for his intervention in our affairs in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, who came among us, the rejected of all people, the despised, the downtrodden, he searched among us for one upon whom he could lay the greatest of all responsibilities. We thank him for raising one from among us that would lead us, that would teach us, that would guide us back to his straight path. That one that he found, that one that he trained, that one that he guided, is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the eternal leader of the nation of Islam. And we thank them both for leaving with us the champion of truth as he is leading ch ch the charge of speaking truth to power. He is the most courageous and bold among those that are courageous and bold. He is the divine teacher. He is the divine guide. He is the manifestation of mercy to the entire world. He is the warner to the world. He is the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. And it is in their names that I greet the mighty women of God the mighty women who are living in Jesus Christ. It is in their names that I greet you in the greeting words of peace as we say in the Arabic language, Assalamu alaikum. And all that means is peace be unto you. We, I thank Allah for the humble minister Louis Farrakhan. And I thank you, brother minister, for blessing me with the greatest opportunity to work out my salvation through sincere service to the people of God. Praise be to Allah. I would like to thank all of our esteemed guests, ministers, pastors, activists, teachers, students, mothers, and sisters for your presence today. I would like to thank all of the presenters today. Weren't they wonderful? Please give them a thundering round of applause. These are the future young women, 17, 18, 24, 27, 32. These are babies. So we thank for your presentation today. I thank you, dear sisters from Chicago and across the world who work diligently to invite the family to be a part of this class today. I want to thank here in Chicago a beautiful group of sisters that work tirelessly to really get all of us here. I want to thank, and if you are here, please come up front. Sister Sandra Mohammed. Sister Lisa, come up front, please. Sister Lu Luvinia, Sister Rosemary, Sister Mariam, come on, come up front. Let the people see you. 
Sister Maisha, Sister Vanessa, come up front. Sister Carmela, come up front, please. Let's give these sisters a strong, strong, strong round of applause as they have been working in the highways, in the byways, to invite all of our women. We don't discriminate in the nation of Islam. We will take you as you are. You just won't remain the same. Whether you are a prostitute, you're welcome. Whether you are a nurse, you're welcome. Whether you are a drug user, you're welcome. Whether you are a doctor, you're welcome. You see, all of these, whether you're Christian, you're welcome. Whether you're Jewish, you're welcome. Whether you are Methodist, wh whatever the denomination is, but I have one question to ask all of you. How many of us are black? Raise your hand. Uh-oh, that's the common denominator. Whenever you have fractions, and you want to bring fractions to make it a whole, you find the common denominator. And all of us are black women from the one God. We are sisters. So thank you for working the city and bringing and helping to bring these beautiful women here. Let's give them another strong round of applause. Thank you. What you have witnessed today in these young girls, our future, was a glimpse of the Muslim girls' training in general civilization class that was established by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and now headed by the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. These training units, how to keep house, how to rear their children, how to take care of their husbands, sew, cook, and in general, how to act at home and abroad are the foundation of a civilized society. They form the basis of every civilization. And to the degree the woman can execute and master these training units will determine the degree of civilization, the level of civilization. This is why the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches. When you teach a man, you're only teaching an indiv individual. But when you teach a woman, you teach an entire nation. Because the black woman is the mother of civilization. So when we carefully and deeply examine these training units, you will find at the core of them major sciences. We're not just cleaning women. We're not just cooks. You have to look deep into these training units. When you look at it, you will find biology. You will find chemistry. You will find anatomy and physiology. You will find agriculture. You will find psychology. You will find sociology. You will find arts. You will find culture, the pursuit of happiness. See, it doesn't matter your class, your creed, or your color. It doesn't matter if you are Muslim, Christian, or Jew. These units transcend our man-made division. Because in these units, you will find basic human needs that are human rights, food, clothing, shelter, procreation. So you have a fundamental right, dear sisters, to life, a right to those things that are absolutely necessary for human development. This now places upon us, especially you, black woman, duties and responsibilities to nurture, to grow and develop ourselves, our families, our community, and our nation. These units are powerful at their core. 
and they can make a civilization or they can break a civilization. This is why we, the MGT of the Nation of Islam, we thank Almighty God Allah for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Why do we thank him? We thank him because he is who that is teaching us and guiding us into the science of cooking, how to cook. Not just you throwing food together. Oh, no, 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 no. You are scientists. Don't matter that you went to school and get a degree or not. I'm telling you, God made you that way. He already conferred on you the title of scientist. But everybody must eat, whether you're black, brown, red, yellow, or white. That's what, guess what? We got to eat. But who, what are we eating and who is feeding us? Did you know, dear sisters, that diet is a means of controlling behavior and desires? Yes. And whoever you allow to feed you has the power to control your behavior, has the power to increase or decrease certain desires, and has the power to control your health. See, learning how to cook is a science, and at the root of it is chemistry and agriculture. So you, got to, you have to ask the question, who has the black woman given the power of control to? Who is feeding black women and girls in our society that today we are so angry with one another, we are so frustrated with one another, that we will fight each other at a drop of a dime, that we will kill each other? Who? is feeding the black woman. Who are we allowing black woman to feed you that we are dying in record numbers of heart attacks, stroke, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or any other ailments? How many of us know someone suffering from one of these ailments? Raise your hand. That's practically the whole room. Who are you allowing? to control your desires through food. It's that now they're able to control your sexual appetite. And now, of the total number of estimated new HIV infection among women, 64% were black women. And you know what's sad about it? we only comprise of about 7% of the whole entire um, um, American population. So this is why we must take back control of our kitchen and learn how to cook good, organic, nutritious food. Learn how to grow our food, that we may take back control of our own behavior, back control of our own desires, and back control of our own health. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches, you have the power to prepare health and well-being for your family right in your kitchen. We thank Allah from the depth of our hearts for this man called Farrakhan. Why? Not only is he teaching us the science of cooking, but he's teaching us how to keep house like no other is teaching us. It doesn't matter your station in life. We all need shelter. We all need housing. But the most beautiful house in the world is this house that God gave us to live in. The human body is the most magnificent house ever created. And since we are made in the image, in the likeness of God, this body must be clean internally and externally. Why? Because cleanliness is not just next to godliness. Cleanliness is what? It is godliness. Internally means, also means our mind. How to keep house includes psychology, which is the scientific study of the human mind and its function, especially those affecting behaviors. 
And so the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, if God does not want to inhabit a filthy place, then let's start with this house, knowing that unclean water, unclean food, unclean thoughts begin to destroy this house. Since God gave it to you in good shape, it is your duty to keep it in good shape. <laughs> Once your body and mind is clean, then you will want everything around you to be clean because your environment is really a reflection of your mind. Let's do a small exercise. Think back how you left your house. You're looking at your mind. <laughs> You will want your home to be clean. So happiness, dear sisters, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches, is in your home, and then from your home, happiness comes in your profession, and how you use your profession to serve the greater good of the rise of our people. Aren't these great teachings? So that's why. We thank Allah God over and over and over and over again for this man called Farrakhan that you in a short while will be graced with because he is teaching us what no one else is teaching us. Who is teaching us the science of mating? Who is teaching us how to give birth to a God? Nowhere on earth will you find this kind of teaching unless you're getting it directly from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan who is teaching from the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master Farad Muhammad. He taught us that Mary, the mother of Jesus, is a sign of the black woman today. He said, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is honored in Islam above all women and above the mothers of all the other prophets. Why Mary? Her womb mm, was blessed with a world savior, a child whose destiny was to perfectly reflect the wisdom, mind, spirit, and power of the creator of the heavens of the earth. Jesus was the man who would once again lift the human from his degraded state to the exalted state that God created human beings to be. So the sign, dear sisters, is not equal to what it points to. A hospital sign is not equal to the hospital that it represents. It is a sign to guide you in the right direction. But that which it points to is greater. So it is our job, it is our duty to look at Mary, mother of Jesus, the sign, study Mary, follow Mary, and reach our destination, which will be greater than Mary and greater than that which Mary produced. Well, I'm not saying anything that Jesus didn't say. So Jesus said, verily I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these. Is that not what Jesus said? So we're not stopping at Jesus. So it is our duty to produce ch children in Christ Jesus, following the divine example of Jesus to grow us up into God. So as Sister Nanika said earlier, David the Psalmist said, ye are all God's children of the Most High God. That, my dearest sisters, is the kind of power that we wield as women of God. We thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Thank you, Brother Minister. Thank you, Brother Minister. Thank you so much because you're doing what no other is doing. Thank you because he is teaching us about the condition, the psyche of the black man 
who has been destroyed by Satan so that we can properly handle this delicate black man. Thank you, Brother Minister, for teaching us how to take care of our husbands and the importance of marriage. He taught us that there is no success in nation building without the building of family. And there is no success in building family without respect and honor for the institution of marriage. When it comes to having a strong nation, nothing is more important than family, and at the root of family is marriage. But he teaches, and this is to all the single sisters in the audience. How many sisters are single? Raise your hand. I'm raising both minds. Okay. <laughs> to the single sisters, he said, the most important part of marriage is not marriage itself, but the approach to it. He taught us of our supreme value in the eyesight of God and that we are the prize and only a worthy man can have us. And guess what? He must prove his worth. So, we enter into what is called courtship. Yes, we take them to court. It's a kind of court. The minister says courtship is bringing evidence to the table to prove whether or not I can make a decision to engage to be married to that brother. So until, y'all listening? Until he proves he is worthy to have us in marriage, we give him nothing. I'm going to make it more plain. No sex. Did y'all hear me? You get a hold of yourself because he has to prove he deserves you. There ain't no free giving up in here. Or what? Anybody can run up on this? No. Sorry. You got to prove that you deserve what God has made. He said, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, you are too precious to give yourself to some man who does not honor and respect your value as a woman. Hold on to yourself, dear sisters. The minister empowers the woman to be sober-minded not drunk with lust and passion. And after he gets you, he leaves. After the next one gets you, he leaves. After the next one gets you, he leaves. Oh, we know what we're talking about, right? Because some of us are hurt right now because yesterday one left us. When making a decision, we have to be sober-minded and choosing a good man, a good husband. This is what the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is teaching us in the nation of Islam. So the MGT across the world, we thank Allah Master Farid Muhammad for this great man called Farrakhan. Oh yes, by the end of this, you will have Farrakhan etched in the brain. Because we can't take credit, it is him that is teaching us. We thank the minister for teaching us and causing us to fall in love with the art of sewing. It's a lost art among the black community. He has taught us about sewing on a completely different level. He said, sewing means cutting your life out after a pattern that God is pleased with. That's what sewing really is in this class. You're cutting your garment out after a garment that God is pleased with. He loves to see you covered, decent, and beautiful. Who are our designers today, dear sisters? With the skill of how to sew, we no longer have to relegate ourselves to the degrading and demoralizing fashion of this wicked world. We no longer have to be naked for anybody else, but we can use our own creativity. We can use our own hands 
to produce garments. Who loves Jesus in this audience? Raise your hand. Do you want to dress for Jesus? So, and make a garment that you know when Jesus Christ comes and he looks at you, he knows that he is in your head. He is the one that is occupying your mind. So we have to sew clothes that God will ple be pleased with, right? And so we can never thank Allah enough for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for lifting and raising the black woman up to the standard of God up to a standard that God would be pleased with, up to a standard that Jesus would be pleased with, up to a standard that Abraham would be pleased with, Moses would be pleased with, right? Muhammad would be pleased with. So he teaches us how to act at home and abroad. I have to say this, sisters. The Nation of Islam went to Jamaica last year. <laughs> And the people marveled at black women from America. They wanted to touch us. They wanted to hold us. They wanted to know who are we? Where are we from? We said America. They said, no, no, we are we're from America. No. But look, you have to learn how to act at home and abroad so that the world won't view you as a savage people. And the first place they'll look is at the woman. When you think about the Japanese culture, you think about the women in their kimonos and walking, right? When you think about the Chinese culture, you think about their women in their garments. When you think about the African culture, what do you think about? Women with the African garbs on. So we here want them when they think about us, see the highest manifestation of civilization. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us good manners and manners is how you act. And the Honorable, Minister, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that good manners protect good morals. He is the only one, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he is the only one that we know is teaching about the immeasurable, limitless value and beauty of the woman. What a blessing by Almighty God Allah to have such a masterful, magnificent, and loving man that is saving women and girls from the grips of Satan. We thank Allah that we have him as the redeemer. Who better to have at the head of our class than a man that loves black woman like no other man? Who better than a man who's at the forefront of the fight of freedom, justice, and equality? Who better than a man who has sacrificed his whole life? Who better than a man who is the voice of truth? He is the light that is shining in this wicked world. And guess what, sisters? He is here today. He is here today. And I want you to help me to bring him on with a thundering, thundering, thundering round of applause. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, we love you brother minister. Let's show him how much we love him. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, we give him praise and thanks 
for his mercy, his grace, and his goodness to all of the members of the human family. We thank him for all of his prophets and messengers that according to the teachings of the Holy Quran, he has sent a messenger to every nation. We thank him for his intervention in our affairs in the person of Master Fard Muhammad, the great Mahdi or guide that we believe and know that the whole world has been looking for, who didn't stop in the East he came from the east as it was written. As lightning shines from the east even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Such a one came among us, and for three years and four months found and taught the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and I could never thank Allah enough for such a magnificent teacher. It is he who we celebrate today for it is he who is the founder of this class. And I thank Allah for being his student to represent one whose shoelaces I am unworthy to untie, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I greet all of you. I greet all of you with the greeting words of peace in the Arabic language, Assalamu Alaikum. To Sister Sandy uh, Muhammad and to all of you who presented today such a beautiful and seamless program. If I had a vest on, all the buttons <laughs> on my vest would have been busted by now. I was a little nervous to come out because on so many occasions, tears came from my eyes as I looked at you, as I listened to you. And as I thought of him who taught me and taught us, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, how proud he is to see you marching forward as Muslim women and girls to show the world what a righteous woman looks like. Now we must continue to grow to show the world not what a righteous woman looks like, but what a righteous woman is. We are all in a process and I am so proud of the video team that put such beautiful presentation together. I really am kind of messed up. You know, when you love your people, 
and you love your women when you see them manifesting what we saw today it would make you very proud and I am very proud every speaker all of your words the spirit that you spoke from put chills over my body several times and uh, I said boy what a program I don't need to say nothing <laughs> I just need to say let's join the class <laughs> and let's continue this work